Good morning, students. This video is for class six science, and today also we will continue with physics. We will keep on continuing unless we finish this chapter. Then we can move on to the other subject of science. So, in the last class, if you remember that I have said that liver is divided into three categories. This liver, we have studied about liver, and liver is divided into three category. Category number one is first class liver. Then you have second class liver. And then you have third class liver. So in the first class liver, you have to keep this in mind. The first class liver, second class liver, third class liver is categorized on the basis of where the fulcrum is present. We have studied about the working of the liver. In the liver, what? liver fulcrum either side load and effort so it is this liver simple liver is divided into three category on the basis of the presence of fulcrum where is the fulcrum present so in the first class liver the fulcrum the fulcrum is present in the middle and either side will be your load and effort either or this side also it can be this side also it can be either or now let us study it is the type of liver in which the fulcrum is between the load and the effort in class one liver the mechanical advantage can be less than one equal to one or more than one depending on the position of the fulcrum between the load and the effort now First class liver is a liver in which the fulcrum is between the load and the effort. The mechanical advantage, it depends upon the distance from where distance between the load arm and the effort arm. If the effort arm is more or less or if it is exactly in the middle, it depends upon that. So what is the, what is the uh, formula to find out the mechanical advantage? It is the effort arm divided by the load arm. Now, suppose if the effort arm is greater than the load arm. Suppose if the effort arm is greater than the load arm, then it will be mechanical advantage will be more than one. If the load load arm is greater than the effort arm, mechanical advantage will be less than one. And if it is load arm is equal to effort arm, then mechanical advantage will be exactly one. Now they have given you few examples. You have to keep those examples in mind and remember the position of fulcrum. You have to keep in mind. The next is second class liver. Second class liver is a liver in which the load is in between and fulcrum and effort can be on either side. It can be this side also, it can be that side, the other side also. In this type of liver in which the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. In class 2 liver, the since the load arm is always less than the effort arm, the mechanical advantage will always be more than one because you see this is the load arm and this effort arm is always greater because load is in between so here mechanical advantage mechanical advantage will always be greater than one always because the effort arm is always greater than the load arm coming to the third class labor and Remember that I have told you to keep the example in mind. Third class liver. In third class liver, in third class liver, the effort is in between and load and fulcrum is on either side. And because the effort arm is always smaller than the load arm, the mechanical advantage will always be less than one. It will be always less than one. So, in this type of liver in which the effort is between the load and the fulcrum. In class 3 liver, since the load arm is more than the effort arm, the mechanical advantage is less than 1. For example, tongue, stapler and forearm arm. So, this is the explanation of the three, three types of liver. So, children, I hope all of you have understood this. Please watch this video and remember to learn the position of fulcrum in first class liver second class liver and third class liver examples of first class liver second class liver and third class liver and the
the mechanical advantage so the three things that you have to keep in mind is the position of the liver uh, fulcrum mechanical advantage of first class second class and third class and example so children for today we will keep it till here in the next class we will learn about the other type of simple machines so for today up to this much thank you class